I've just started up the nation's largest all-nuclear electric power plant. Uh, of course, this is just a model, but by 1960, it'll be a reality. The Dresden Nuclear Power Station, 50 miles from Chicago. The General Electric Company is building this 180,000 kilowatt plant for Commonwealth Edison Company of Chicago and the Nuclear Power Group. Commonwealth will own and operate the station. The Dresden Nuclear Power Station will make electric power from the atom in an interesting way. Let's see how it works. The Dresden station will use a reactor developed by General Electric scientists and engineers. It's called a dual cycle boiling water reactor and converts a maximum amount of heat into electrical energy. It starts in the atomic fission process here in the reactor core. Tremendous energy is released in the form of heat. Water surrounding the reactor quickly boils, producing steam. The steam drives the turbine, which turns the generator, giving us electric power. The steam, after it's done its work, is condensed back to water and returned to the reactor. Now that's one cycle. But remember, the reactor at the Dresden station is a dual cycle. Let's add the second cycle. Not only steam comes from the reactor, but also considerable amounts of very hot water. This hot water passes through a heat exchanger. Here, the hot water literally gives up its heat to make more steam, which goes to the turbine, further increasing power. The water, now cooled, goes back into the reactor with the water from the turbine. Thus, we have two sources of steam. One, the atomic fission. The other, the heat exchanger, or dual cycle. With such an arrangement, more power can be obtained from a smaller, less expensive reactor. Now, in addition to its ability to supply more power for its size, this system has another advantage. It provides nearly automatic control of the reactor to meet a wide range of demand for electricity. It works like this. As the turbine demands more steam to meet a power increase, we take more steam from the heat exchanger. So the water returned to the reactor is cooler. This makes the fission process speed up, boiling more water and making more steam. Conversely, the reactor will decrease its own output as power demand decreases. So the dual cycle reactor actually regulates its own output. Incidentally, this gives the Dresden station a built-in safety factor. It will shut itself off if it tries to provide more energy than required. When it goes into operation, the Dresden Nuclear Power Station will feed electric power into Commonwealth Edison system serving Chicago and Northern Illinois. The Dresden station alone will provide enough electricity to supply a city the size of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dresden, a true landmark in the productive use of atomic power. <laughs>